Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Anecta University, which is uh, a portion of Anecta, it's a, it's a part of what we do, uh, is going to have a boot camp. Uh, it's a Dynamics NAV boot camp. So in the video's description, this video, uh, there is going to be a link. So go ahead and click on that link if you're interested in this uh, and you can sign up. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Maker Tutorials. We are now continuing on bank reconciliations. Um, we did connect to an automated service, Yodly. That was great. Um, and then we actually did a bank reconciliation which is the whole point of this. But now we're going to talk about something that is even more cool than bank reconciliations, but it has to do with bank reconciliations. I always like when uh, companies are pushing the envelope a little bit, you can develop bank reconciliations simply, like make it work there, okay, it's done. But you know, let's do it really, you know, some something different. Let's just be more innovative. Let's make it more automatic and intuitive. And I think that uh, what we have right now in NAV, new, uh, is really cool. Uh, I think it, it helps with that. So I'm going to get into it right now. There's something called Payment Reconciliation Journal. Good stuff. Uh, if you get into uh, one of the banks here, I created two journals, one for the operating bank and one for the USD bank. Go into the USD bank here. I get into a Payment Reconciliation Journal. What is this? What this is, is a way to download payments from your uh, <coughs> bank. Payments uh, could also be deposits. And uh, match them out right away. And when you match them out, uh, they go off the bank rack. So you don't have to do a bank rack on that again if, if you don't want to. So what I'm going to do now is get automatically some uh, transactions. So I go into here, import bank transactions. I'm going to get it for one year here always, of course. Now I'm working with a test server at Yodli and this test server gives me, <laughs> gives me only like four transactions with the transaction text uh, description or desk, uh, which is terrible. But uh, all right, we it would be nice to get some more uh, interesting data out of there. But what, we'll work with that. Um, at least it's different dates. Okay, so I get them in here. These are the payments, and I now want to match them. I can match them uh, manually by going here, and I basically get a list of all open transactions, and I can find the transaction with the amount here, etc., and apply it, and just hit OK. All right. So what I can also do is say apply automatically. I click on that, the system actually searches through all of the transactions you have, finds if anything matches the day and the amount, and matches it out. So here it says, oh, I was able to match everything out. I have here a transaction to the bank account on Canon Group, and then I have uh, also Canon Group transactions, no, cash transactions for the bank account for these. So they're all matched out. If I actually go into um, apply manually here, I can see where this is applied. You can see it right here. So there was a, a transaction with description for that amount uh, that was matched out. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. Now, once I'm done with that, it is applied. I can only post the payments and reconcile the bank account. So that means that when I post this, it's off my bank rec. I don't have to reconcile it. It's done. Also, the payment is posted in the system. So you're done with that too. So that's really cool. You uh, quickly get to uh, what you need to do. Here's some interesting stuff. You can actually click on bank transaction details and you can get all of the data that comes from the bank. So here you get stuff actually out of the web service, like trans transaction ID, Etc. Etc. So that's that could be useful for some interesting uh, scenarios. Finally, 
uh, in matching this out, let's say if it doesn't find any matches in your system and you're actually, you haven't posted this uh, and you want to post it, so it's not going to match it out in the system because it doesn't exist, you can actually map text to account. So I can here say that the description here um, always is the canon group. The canon group. So I'm just going to do that quickly like that. Uh, so I'm setting up a rule that this text, if this text shows up in the transaction, just put the balancing source as the canon group. Right, so if I actually do that, you can see that, boom, it changed it, and now it mapped it to the canon group. Um, it actually kept this one because I think it was map, mapped to the canon group in a back account. So anyways, uh, it automatically matches out. Very nice. Now, what do I have a problem with here? I actually do have a couple of problems with this. First of all, you usually want to have dimensions in this uh, and you can actually add dimensions here. For example, if I have the department code, just add the department code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, close this out, come back in again. Then I have the department code here and I'm getting sales, which is coming from the customer. That's great. But um, I might want to have the text tell me uh, a dimension, right? That makes sense. And here I should be able to say not only customer, but also dimension. But no, can't do that. So Microsoft, come on, we need this. Maybe I can post something so they can add it. Or this is an opportunity for a developer to add there. Anyways, missing it there, but I don't think that's a big deal. You can just fill them out on this side, uh, worst case. And then ultimately you post um or accept applications and you're done so this is this is fantastic it's really cool and uh, uh good job to add this so hopefully you got something out of this one thumbs up if you did and you like this uh until next time thank you